I grew up in Huddersfield, um, West Yorkshire. Started playing rugby from a fairly young age, about eight years old, and made a, an early debut in the Premiership when I was 18. And then most recently, had five or six seasons at Wasps, which was a fantastic part of my career, probably the highlight, playing in European semi-finals and Premiership finals with some of the best players in the world. In the early stages of my career, it was, you don't show any vulnerability, you don't show any pain, you just get on with things. At first it didn't feel like a pressure because it was so normal, particularly being from Huddersfield, a working class background, where men are brought up as men and any sign of vulnerability is a weakness. I experienced a severe period of depression just over halfway through my career. I think looking back I'd probably been depressed several times before, but I just didn't really know or I didn't really understand. But this time was a bit different and the thoughts and feelings that I was having started becoming my reality and ruminating over negative thoughts about how much of a bad person I was, that the world would be a better off place without me in it. It became something that I was living with every day, coupled with the fact that I was in a highly competitive masculine environment. It became really difficult for me to, to not only seek the help that I needed, but to understand that I even needed help. And I started losing interest in life and losing interest in being alive really. And because I kept those feelings to myself, I had nobody to put me back on the straight and narrow and to check myself. Because of that, I started making some pretty bad life choices. And ultimately I was forced to go and see a psychiatrist through luck rather than my judgment at the time. And the psychiatrist sat me down and quite calmly told me that I was depressed. And I remember at the time thinking that he was wrong and I couldn't be depressed because I was an athlete. And from that point onwards, it was really the start of me understanding my own mental health and the things that I could do to improve my own situation. And I'm not gonna sit here and say that it's an easy problem to overcome because it, it takes time and it takes effort. And it might be that there are, there are good days and there might be that there are bad days. And certainly that's my experience of things. But from being at a really, really low point, it's been an upward trend for the last several years to a place where, where I really enjoy life. And that's come with developing a deeper understanding of the issues that affect me personally and the things that are going on around me and understanding when I need to sit down and, and take a moment and to, to reach out and to ask for help. So if you are struggling, then don't be afraid to, to have that conversation with somebody who's close to you. Don't be afraid to show a bit of vulnerability because showing vulnerability can be a really huge sign of strength.